Hey guys, Parker here, and welcome back to another video, and it's Angry Bird season, so you know the drill. Since everyone is going back to school and YouTubers are suffering from view drops everywhere, we're doing the back to school chapter in Angry Bird seasons, because I feel like at this point it's just become a tradition. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know what I did to my throat, but for some reason it's just ridiculously sore today, so if I sound a little bit different, then that is why. So I might as well talk about, well, first of all, this chapter, I don't really like it because a lot of the levels give you, don't give you the right birds you need to like break the right blocks. Like for example, this level, it's mostly uh, wood and stone, even though you get all reds, which are, I don't think he has a special block. Oh, never mind. But anyway, so given how the first week of school just wrapped up, it's cur it is currently Friday, but I have Friday off because, I don't know, Labor Day weekend, and of course one star. What else was I expecting? To actually get two? That doesn't happen. <laughs> anyway, I've already been through a week of school. It's not like, it wasn't as good as I was expecting it to be, although usually my expectations are really, really low, so it was better than my past expectations, if that makes sense. And I see an outlet right here, if I can nail this- oh, yep, got it. So it hasn't been as good as I thought it would be, but it hasn't been as bad as I thought it would be in some other years, if that makes sense. So it looks like, for the most part, mo uh, all of my classes are pretty uh, straightforward. There was- there were two little hiccups at the beginning of the year. One is that, you know, two of my teachers were just not there the first day of school. And, you know, to be fair, for one of them, it was because they got COVID, but the other one is literally, like, at a wedding in France. Yes, really. That is why they missed the first day of school. It was for a wedding in France, and it, and it was my Spanish teacher, so that's uh, conflicting. But, yeah, and, of course, there was also the inevitable uh, switching one of my classes to online school, because that's pretty much the only way I can graduate. But... Yeah, other than those two hiccups, the first week went pretty well, as it usually does. Although, in fairness, I didn't really, like, get any work this week. And I... Oh, I got two stars. That's a surprise. So, yeah, I didn't really get any work this week, and so it's been pretty chill. This level it looks like it's going to give me a ton of trouble. I don't remember which chapter it was from, but it reminds me of that one uh, chat. Oh, that was actually really painless. Hmm, I'm surprised. Oh yeah, I got three stars. So yeah, I'll play this a bit more and then come back when I think of something to talk about. So see you then. All right, so I've made it to this level and it, as you can see, it has bombs, which is, in my opinion, objectively one of the best birds. Cause I mean, he's literally a, a, a bomb. <laughs> but yeah, just remember when I say something like that, it is completely subject uh, objective by which I mean, not at all. I'm just saying my opinion. So please don't get mad at me if you like this bird better than this or this better than this or blah, 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 blah. blah. Uh, yeah, so what I want to do for Angry Birds content in the future is I still have quite a, I still have a, a lot left to go in my, how was that three stars? Anyway, I still have a lot to go on my uh, trilogy version. So if I can get my uh, PC stuff hooked up to my Xbox, uh, very remotely is a difference of literally like almost 100 miles. Uh, long story. <laughs> but yeah, if I could get it remotely hooked up from there, I should be able to make some actually like kind of decent Angry Birds content. So, three stars again. Uh oh. So, this looks like a level to tell a story I had from the very last day of my freshman year. So, 2021 to 2022. So, story time! <laughs> So, there's this guy in my grade, his name is Nate, I would say we're pretty good friends, we, he doesn't have a problem with me, I certainly don't have a problem with him, so, we were, he's in my chemistry class this year, but he was also in my, uh, history class for freshman year, and on the last day of school, the, we had already kind of done our entire curriculum, I guess, so on the last day, the teacher was like, hey, you guys want to go outside? And obviously, considering we've been, all been cooped up for like 
uh, nine months at that point, uh, collectively. And if this is three stars, I will, I don't know what I'll, oh, it's only one, okay. So, oh, there's a golden egg here. So uh, I guess I'll try to get that. So anyway, uh, the teacher suggested we go outside, which pretty much every single one of us agreed to because, you know, it, it was better than being stuck in the classroom. And it was, it was a pretty nice day out as well. So that was a uh, part of the reason. So we went outside and he split the class into two teams for a kickball game. I was on Nate's team, which I'm very glad I was. So near, like as the game was winding down, he's up to a uh, pitch, I guess. And he pitches it and someone kicks it like almost straight up in the air. And, you know, as I'm, sh as I'm sure we've all noticed with things that go straight up in the air, it can be a little difficult at times to see what they're where they're falling, and I just saw that book thing. Oh, that makes it a lot easier. So yeah, someone kicks it straight up in the air. None of us have any idea where it's going, and Nate just kind of just like makes a run for it and tries to figure out where it's gonna end up. And he does this like insane diving catch to literally catch it when it was maybe, uh, catch the ball when it was maybe, I don't know, a foot from the ground. So that was one thing he did that day. The other thing he did that day that really impressed me was, so uh, after that happened, we switched sides because it was the second half of the, I guess, bottom inning, if you want to call it that. <laughs> and he was up to bat and someone threw it out. He kicked it. He passed first, second, third. And as he's like stepping onto third, I see one member of the opposing team like wind up their arm and then throw the ball like somewhere in his direction, like where they think he's going to be. And without even hesitating, he just jumps straight over it like he's in a freaking Mario game. So the ball ends up completely missing him and going to the other side of the field. And there's nothing anyone can do at that point. And he makes it back home completely fine. That actually ended up giving our team the victory so that was nice so i brought it up to him yes uh yesterday and he was like how do you remember that i can barely remember what i ate for breakfast and i mean my brain my brain is weird i don't think the parts that handled short and long-term memory were made correctly at all overall my opinions on this chapter are pretty mixed but you know i wanted to do a video on it so i did that's how most of my videos start so this is going to be at the end. I'm working on a few bigger projects, but you'll just have to keep an eye out for those. So yeah, if you like the video, like the video, I guess, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!